Okay, let's talk about power cable or cord. Um, in an alternative energy system, the wiring, the power cord, can be just as expensive as some of your other components. And so this is one of those areas where I like to cut costs or save some money. But to do that, you really have to understand what it is you're trying to power. For a lot of your small devices and things like that, small gauge or 16 gauge uh, would be plenty large enough to power your device. In terms of wiring, the, the, the lower the number, the, the larger the wire. So 14 gauge would actually be a thicker wire than 16 gauge. But for, again, for most of the stuff that you're going to power, 16 gauge is plenty enough. And to give you an example of this, um, uh, a few days ago we had an ice storm that hit Northern Virginia, um, swept across most of the United States and my power ended up going out and my neighbor didn't have a generator so we ran a 16 gauge extension cord over to his home we had a male to male extension cord end and we plugged it into his wall outlet and it provided power along that whole circuit which happened to power his fridge, his lights, his freezer and also provide power to his garage and we did that all over a 16 gauge wire so 16 gauge is large enough why that impo is important is we can buy 16 gauge extension cords at a reasonable cost. In most areas you can buy a 16 gauge extension cord 100 feet in length for less than $20. I happen to buy mine from Walmart at $14 a piece for 100 feet. Now what I do then is take that extension cord and cut it up into sections. I cut it up into 20 feet sections and also 10 feet sections. And what that allows me to do is take that 100 feet length and then allows me to ch daisy chain it through my home so that I can maximize the potential of that 100 feet distance. And we'll, if you look in the images in the article, it gives you a better example of what I'm talking about, but this just shows you how flexible that you can be as long as you think of wiring or providing power to whatever you need it to provide power to in modular terms. Take a 100 feet extension cord, cut it up into smaller sections so then you can maximize the area that you can really cover or the different locations that you can cover using that same 100 feet. So again, for about $15, $20 at the most, I wouldn't buy them if they're more than 20 bucks for 16 gauge, um, you, you can get a 100 feet extension cord. Now, what we're going to do is build upon the solar ammo can project. And I'm not going to bring up my ammo can here, but I'm going to bring up a few parts. Um, on our ammo can, we've used cigarette lighter adapters for our power out. And then we had a Deltran cigarette lighter to two pole connector for to run power or even to our solar panels or whatever. So we, we have these two components on our solar ammo can project. What we're going to do is build upon this two-pole connector, and again, I really like the two-pole connector for the price point and also the flexibility that it provides. Another piece that we introduced in the Solar Ammo Can project was this four-in-one splitter, so two-pole connector to four two-pole connectors, and we have plugged it into this one right here, and we used it to plug in multiple solar panels too, but you can also use it for power outs. So again, we have the cigarette lighter, the cigarette lighter adapter to two pole, and then we have the one to four splitter. What we can do then is install two pole connectors on our extension cord. So this is a two pole connector set. If you buy them, they usually come like this. You cut the line right here, then you get two separate two pole connectors. It rotates positive and negative on the prongs or in the female ends of this. So you gotta keep, understand that. But if you take positive and solder it or crimp it onto the positive one side, negative, solder, crimp it onto there, and then repeat the process here, it'll keep the repeating pattern of positive prong to, you know, positive female on this end, whatever. Um, but it'll keep that repeating pattern so you don't get mixed up. All right, so if you just put this here on both ends, basically you can set up an extension cord to whatever length that you need it to be. Now, in contrast, you can buy one that's already pre-made, and I think we introduced a, in the Enhanced Solar Ammo Can Project. And this is a Deltran um, 12 and a half foot extension cord. It has uh, two pole connectors on both ends. This is a great product. However, the wire size, I think, is a little bit smaller than this extension cord, 
and it costs more. So for twelve dollars, or excuse me, for twelve and a half feet, you're looking at about nine to ten dollars for this. Or you can make your own twelve and a half foot one if you wanted to, and it will cost you about five dollars to make. So if you don't want to make them, just buy the pre-made one. If you want to save half the price, go ahead and make your own. Let me throw this out. I have a finished one right here. And again, two pole connectors are just installed on both ends. So what I can do now is take my ammo can, cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter adapter, two pole to four prong. For the splitter, plug in one end. And then I can run this to a part of my house. If I need to split it, again, I can get another one of these splitters and put it on this end and I could be able to split this power. So what I can do then is chain it through my home. Now when I want to provide power to my devices, and the article is going to discuss this, these two pole connectors aren't cheap. You're looking about $2.50 a piece for a set. If you purchase it on Amazon, if you get it on eBay, it's a little bit cheaper. However, the, the eBay ones, I've had some issues with them. Some of them are duds, and it's taken me a while to figure out which one's the dud. So if you're going to purchase off eBay, I would recommend that you make sure that this end actually works. So use a voltage meter um, and make sure that it, you're getting you know 12 volts or 24 volts or whatever voltage you're using. But once I get to the end point and I need to start powering my devices, most of us are going to power more than one thing um, at, at the end point. So... I can use this if I really wanted to, but what we've come up with was something that we call a pigtail. And I don't know why I came up with that name, but basically we have a two pole connector here, and then we have a positive and negative lead crimped onto here, and on each positive and negative lead we have four T taps. And a T tap basically crimps onto your wire and it forms a female terminal end. Then on all my devices now I've switched over to male terminal ends. So what I can do then is plug in my positive here on this T-tap and my negative here on this T-tap. And then that would provide power, and in this case it's going to power a little LED light. And we'll go over these LED lights in a, a future video, but these are very cheap and cost-effective LED lights. But this little T-tap right here system, pigtail system, basically allows me to split my power to multiple devices um, at, at the end point. Each T-tap system or pigtail system I think costs about $2.50 to make. I have to check the article. Um, but they're very cost effective and it allows you to distribute your power to more than one device once you get to the end point. So that's what the pigtail is. If you do not have the ammo can um, set up as we have here that uses a cigarette lighter adapter you can also purchase you know something with two round terminal ends and this one happens to be fused and then it has a two bowl connector here and then this will allow you to run it straight off your battery bank or power post or whatever you're using to distribute your power and then it allows you to continue the same two pole connector chain that we discussed here and so instead of having the cigarette lighter adapter I can just run it to my splitter here, to my extension cord, or however you want to do it. Now, this demonstration so far showed you the splitter at first, but what if you didn't need a splitter at the first one? Well, you can just take it off there, plug it into your extension cord here, run this from your battery bank extension cord into your home. Once you get into your home and get at the end of that, you can install this splitter here, or however you really want to do it. If you look at the video, excuse me, if you look at the article, it shows you a little bit more in depth on how I chain it through my home. Um, but you're going to need more than one of these. These are about 4 to $5 a piece, which isn't that bad. Um, and I, I would recommend at least getting some of these as well in case you don't use an ammo can. I always have a few of these on hand. And, um, you know, that's, that's just how this system works. So... For cost effectiveness, this is very cost effective. It's actually very modular, so I can use it in my home. If I want to use it camping, run it through multiple tents or whatever. Or if I go to somebody else's house and I have my battery bank with me or my vehicle battery with me, then I can replicate the system and distribute power across the, the, the location that I'm at. 
Alright, that concludes this video, but please let us know if you have any questions. We look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching.